Okay guys, we are at the hospital. I'm officially checked in. They don't let you get the epidural. All right, so they just told us the OR was ready. So now it's about to get pushed to the OR. I just did it, I just did it. How you feeling, babe? You want me to do it again? Can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down? Looks like a thumb sideways. I'll count as a thumbs up. so it's the next morning we are picking up where we left off from the last video this is our first full 24 hours with the babies they were born technically this morning so this is going to be our first full day with them as you can see my little baby girl was hungry thinking i was mommy so she gave me two hickeys trying to get some milk last night but that's one huge positive and one like big stress off of Naz's shoulders is that both the babies were breastfeeding very well especially our baby girl because I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the Virgo woman energy in her or what it is, but she's super independent. Like she drinks very well. She eats a lot. Like she's had two feedings already this morning within the matter of like five minutes of each other. So that's a positive and I hope that continues because I remember how difficult it was breastfeeding Kayvon for Nas. So I don't want her to have to go through that again. Today you guys will see as much as we can show you of what our stay is going to be like at the hospital. Mom and Baba on their way here. As you guys know, Kayvon goes to preschool. So during the day, they have a little bit more free time to come visit or do whatever. They're bringing us breakfast. Yeah, and they're gonna bring us some breakfast because we're starving, um, starving and tired. And we're gonna just be bonding with the baby. What's up you guys? So this vlog is gonna be our stay at the hospital. Because I ended up getting a C-section, I have to stay for three full days um, before we can get discharged. And I'm just nursing our baby girl right now. And guys, she is a little Barbie doll. She is five pounds, 15 ounces. So literally, it just doesn't she just feel yeah. like a baby it like, doll? It feels like nothing. Yeah. So our boy had some respiratory issues last night. Um, it's not like they rushed him to the NICU or anything, but we got to spend some time with him. I breastfed him and he it's had like a snore. Once he started to go to sleep, he was grunting. And I guess uh, for a a newborn to be grunting um, is can be a sign of a respiratory issue so they just wanted to take him to the NICU and monitor him to make sure everything's okay um, mm -hmm. through all the checks that they did like post birth they said he's healthy and everything's fine so yeah we were made like aware of these respiratory issues from his ultrasound so it wasn't a big surprise to us but because he's in the NICU first of all we miss him so much but um I'm going to have to pump and send milk up for him. I just can't believe my babies are here. Our babies are here. Guys, she is so hungry. Knock on wood, she is everything. Literally, Mel and I are in awe at her. She's just like a little Barbie doll. She holding daddy's finger. Mm -hmm. These little fingers, she's gonna have me wrapped around for the rest of her life. Uh -huh. My baby girl. My baby girl. I love, I love you. you. We want to play. Mm -hmm. And Kay, wanna... for you, Kay, Yes. Wanna... Oh my goodness. I'm going to be a little bit of a boy. She will be... Uh -huh. She will be model. Uh -huh. Swear to God. She will be model, model. Let me picture of the one. <laughs> <laughs> Here, will take your picture. And we ask if two years and a half can come and you say no. Nope. Yeah, no, under 18. This I miss Kate so my much. My second princess. Oh. I bet you she will be she will be mother. Guys, How Mama and Baba. Oh, yeah, Mama and Baba brought me balloons, flowers. Yeah. 
Today is first day. I see my baby girl. So guys, we're heading up to or down to the NICU to go visit our baby boy. I'm so excited. I believe this is my baby girl. Mommy? Hi, Mommy. Hi. Aww. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. I just nursed her. Then Mama burped her. She's so cute, my princess. Mm -hmm. And then Mal is gonna, me and Mal are gonna go to the NICU to spend time with our boy. And Mama. And Mama. Staying with the princess. Yeah. And Hi, Mama. Mama, let me show the feet. Let me show the feet. Uh, her foot. Her Like her foot is out. You oh. don't see it? Let me see. Let me see the foot. <laughs> These Happy feet. feet. Let me see the feet, feet, my baby. Oh my God. Oh. She has like your foot. Uh, long toes. Uh, long toes. <laughs> I love her so much, I you guys. I have two princes and two prince. Aww. Yeah. I am You're lucky officially one. grandma of four. Yeah, I am lucky one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am two and two. You have cousin, Shahnaz. Shahnaz, your cousin. What's up, you guys? It is day two in the hospital. And baby girl just woke up. And I fed her at least as much as I could with the colostrum. So especially with having twins, um, the hospital provided formula just to like top it off after she nurses, just until like my milk like fully comes in. So guys, someone just came in here to test her hearing, and now they're headed over to the NICU to also test our baby boy's hearing. Guys, it is so hard to have your other baby in the NICU. Like, all I want is to just hold him and cuddle him. Um, obviously, we can go up there to do it, but it's just been so hard for me to move around since I had the C-section. But today, since it's the second day, I'm actually going to be moving on my feet. Um, I They took out my catheter last night at like 2 in the morning, so I like got up and took my first pee on my own this morning and it literally hurt so bad because I waited so long so my bladder was so so full guys I'm so in love literally she's like my little doll like my little doll that I got from the toy store you guys know like we're used to like big babies even our son is like seven pounds 15 ounces and he's like three weeks early she's only five pounds and 15 ounces like a little out of sec little doll I'm gonna go ahead and do some skin to skin with her. You still hungry? You still hungry? This is the one that was kicking me in the rib cage for nine months and and hid from us for nine months. This is her. Guys, you know what's crazy? The people next door, they also birthed twin, a set of twins, one boy, one girl. Baby girl is back on the boob. <laughs> We're doing skin to skin and she was going crazy. It's just so nice to know what to expect this time around. Like I expected the pain, like I anticipated it. So I feel like it's not as bad as the first time around. I'm really looking forward to showering today. I couldn't take a shower yesterday. That's the one big thing between C-section and vaginal delivery. I was, after just a few hours, I was like walking around the room doing my skincare routine, all that with C-section. Like you just need to sit in your bed with your feet elevated for like the first 24 hours. So, oof those cramps you guys it's a good thing though it's a good thing it's making the uterus contract to the original size so guys i am clear to walk today so i'm walking to the nicu definitely i definitely feel better like getting out of bed hurt but now that i'm like you know, moving, moving. Up and moving. Up and moving. I still have pain, don't get me wrong. But Oh, and then turns out, you guys know about the low platelet situation, which I told you guys in the birth vlog. 
So because of that, I can't take any anti-inflammatories either. So, I'm just suffering. Yeah guys, so we're on our way to the NICU to go see our boy. It really sucks having to go back and forth. Luckily this hospital is not super huge and the NICU is really close to the labor and delivery section. So it's a short little walk, but I just hate that he's there by himself. So I stayed in there last night. Hopefully he gets to come out soon, sooner than later, but we'll see you guys in a little. removed from everything today mm -hmm. so happy yes no more ivs no more mm -hmm. well, just, just a little, little bit, bit on his feet big boy but it was so hard to even hold him upright I like know, with we had all to those just wires. we had to just cradle him and that's just not the same mommy got some of her stuff off too it was so hard for me and him to cuddle because i'm like i have this iv this catheter this you know all this i don't know why i think this guys but i feel like he looks more middle eastern look at him yeah because he's nice and hairy I swear all I've been doing in the past two videos is crying, I know. But I was doing fine. Like I said, they told me to just, like be on my feet today. So I was just, I finally took a shower. Um, I feel refreshed. And I was just picking up the room because you guys know me. I don't like being in clutter and I feel like everything was everywhere. So I just picked up the room and Mel went to the NICU to go visit our son. He FaceTimed me to show him, show me him, and I just like bursted into tears. I mean, everything is fine. He's still on track to be with us tomorrow, but I just hate that he was taken from me. I know I'm being dramatic. Trust me, I know. I'm going to look back on this and be like, you're so dramatic, but you guys got to understand. I was completely like unconscious after I gave birth because I was so physically and mentally exhausted. And I wake up and my son is gone. But I already don't remember the first time I saw him if it wasn't for pictures. So I literally just like passed out. But then by the time I wake up, he's gone. And they're like, oh, he's in the NICU. And again, like I couldn't leave my bed for the first 24 hours. So I literally felt like I didn't even have a, a son. Like I feel like he's like a fragment of my imagination. You guys, look at how... Swollen. I am. I really wanted this vlog, this video to be as like raw and real as possible because especially like I've just been getting so many comments during my whole pregnancy, which is sweet that, you know, I make it look so easy and I'm so beautiful, and my bump is so small, and like obviously those comments make me feel so good, but like I feel like absolute shit. Like nurses will come in here and tell me how beautiful I am and how good I look, and I'm like, thank you, but I feel horrible. I'm trying not to cry because crying literally hurts my incision, but like I told you guys in the birth vlog, I have a low platelet count and that almost caused me to like not even get the epidural at all and they came and took my blood today to check my platelet count and it's down to like an 80 something and then they took it again and it's going down to 75 <laughs> and mind you my, my platelet count was like 180 in March now this is a problem because of my low platelet count, I can't take anti-inflammatory medication. So, for example, for my birth with Vaughn, I took Motrin afterwards and it helped so much with my vaginal birth. It honestly took all the pain away. Just Motrin. And I'm supposed to be taking Motrin. They had that for me. But again, because I have the low platelets now, I can't take it. So I can't take the anti-inflammatory for pain relief. 
and my and then they had this other medication that I was on they had me on it on the first day but the anesthesiologist cut it off after the first day because of what my um, platelets came back after the testing my only forms of pain relief are like and, and all that stuff and I don't think that works for me at all I still feel all the pain and I still feel pain so just the pain relief like has been very hard so just you know because of that it's been so hard to find pain relief so I just feel like I can't do anything everything hurts when I cough it hurts when I sneeze it hurts when I do absolutely anything it hurts I miss Kayvon I miss my other son thank god I have her with me here or I'll literally lose my mind And I hate that I'm crying because I was going to try to pump for our son and set it up to the NICU. But now I feel like my milk is not going to come out at all with me crying and being all emotional. And the cherry on top is that my white blood cell count is going up. And usually that's an indication of your body fighting off an infection. So I'm like, now I have an infection? Like... I'm probably gonna rewatch this footage and be like, I am not posting that shit. Like, that's embarrassing. But, like, childbirth is very scary. It's not an easy thing at all. And people need to take it more seriously. I'm just so blessed that my kids are okay. They're healthy. <laughs> but I know not everybody is that lucky. And it makes me so sad to think about. Guys, I can't get over how little she is. Like, look. like my own little personal baby doll like the ones i used to play with when i was a little girl like right after i just vented to you guys and had my like emotional breakdown she started crying but it took me a minute to like get out of bed and get her and this sweetest like lactation consultant walked in and she was like the nicest person and i just like like i clearly look like i'm crying so i told her why and she's like you're such a good mom like don't worry about it she was so sweet. Like, she was just really nice. Like, her presence was just like, I feel like she was meant to come in my room at that time and, you know, make me feel better. But I thought she was hungry, but the second I picked her up, she burped. So I guess, I honestly think I forgot to burp her. I'm not gonna lie. The last time I fed her. So once I picked her up and she burped, she just knocked right back out. I really need to stop crying. But this is like another thing that makes me so sad is I feel like I'm getting all of this like one-on-one -on -one time and like cuddles with her and bonding with her and not with her brother so it makes me feel really guilty hey, can I help you? hi um can i get a box of tissues please sure, no problem. thank Very you good. i'll just came back from the nicu oh, you're about to kiss sorry, me i, made it. I, I made thought it. you're about to kiss me oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new girl in my life. Uh -huh. I was making a reel on what it's like visiting the NICU and I got so excited when I saw a baby boy that I did not record anything <laughs> after like washing my hands. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I have to get it tomorrow or something. Guys, Mel is going to go um, put Vaughn to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, there's multiple reasons for that. Vaughn is just like ever since we transitioned him to his toddler bed, he has a very exact routine. And just so he knows, like, his parents are still here, you know what I mean? Like, he's still getting attention. Yeah, because he, he doesn't really get to see us at all during the day. Like, mom and baba pick him up from school, they play with him. So I'm like, I don't want him to feel like we're yeah, just abandoning him, you know? And then we yeah. come home with new kids, and he's like, so this is where you've been. He knows mommy's at the hospital and seeing doctor. Yeah. And having brother, sister, so. And then sometimes he can be very manipulative with his bedtime. Like, he'll be asking for, like, more stuff and more books and all this. And I'm like. Mom and Baba don't put their Yeah, you down. need somebody to be stern to be like, no, Kayvon, you have school tomorrow, so you have to go to sleep. So it's just easier and stress-free uh, for me to just go home and do it. Yeah, so my mom is going to switch places with Mel. And then Mel's going to come back Yeah, at and then night. Baba's going to come and, like, sleep at the house while I come back. Guys, we're, like, so far gone from having a newborn after i fed her um i just put her back in her bassinet and she just woke up like 30 minutes ago super fussy and she's really not a fussy baby so i was like oh my god like what's going on i pick her up she let out a little burp and went right back to sleep i'm like i totally forgot to burp her like it just completely has left my mind that you have to burp a baby after they eat so I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, it's it's been some time. It's definitely been some time since we had a newborn in our life. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to 
try to pump something for our boy, so and change this diaper. Look who's here. We are yeah. so happy. So happy. We have baby girl here. We She's so beautiful. Them. She's so beautiful. They I have love copy her. with Wani. Copy. Yeah. Wani copy. Yeah, copy. Mm. Just her eyes is bigger. Her eyes is oh. like mommy. Baba, Baba cooks me some yummy rice. And Shirazi. <laughs> I know. I was like, I wish you brought me yogurt. And Baba was like, I swear. Believe me, I thought you want yogurt. Baba, Baba just God. said, he's like, you want me to go buy some plain yogurt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where because yogurt? I have okay. not in home yogurt. I yeah. have to go yogurt. Guys, this is Baba's first time really seeing our boy. Mama was just in here too. And Mama got to give him some milk. I actually got to breastfeed him a little bit, which was nice. Baba said, with how cute we make kids, we gotta make 20. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, absolutely not. Not after this, not after this birth experience. Good morning, guys. It is the third day in the hospital. It's actually our last day and we got the most amazing surprise. So they were saying that they were just gonna observe our son overnight and see if he can come back in our room. And look. That's what I woke up to. He's here. So we haven't told Mel, so I'm going to get his reaction when he walks in. He's going to be so, so happy. He's dropping Kayvon off at school, and he's heading over here. Oh, yeah, my mom is finally putting our baby girl in a cute little outfit. Last night, I needed I needed sleep. Um, I'll tell you guys in a little bit, but I was experiencing so much pain on my incision site for the C-section, and I just felt like the nurses here are so sweet, first of all. Let me just preface by saying that every nurse that we've encountered here are so so nice actually the nurse that um the nurse that um i first when i first got to the hospital and i was like in labor she is off until saturday later she's off this week and she actually called my room to check on me and see how my birth went like the nurses here are so sweet but i just feel like no one was listening to me when i said like i'm in pain like i'm in pain they're like obviously it hurts and i'm like no you don't understand but i was just like yo i'm in so much pain like you guys are giving me like these intense painkillers but i'm still in so much pain and finally this nurse came in here i swear she was like my guardian angel and she looks at me and she's like you know you can put your binder over your incision site and you guys know me i love compression like my stomach feels good because it's wrapped up she's like we can lower it down and put it on your incision as well when i tell you guys it made the world of a difference i'm like why didn't we do this from the beginning it literally made it feel so much better so yeah. it's crazy that's all that we needed to do <gasps> oh. oh my gosh look my mom has another doll to dress up now princess. hi mommy oh. hi princess let me see let me see, let me see. Oh, guys i'm so happy i bought i only have mom you know this is my only onesie for under seven pounds yeah yeah hi, i need to mommy. order more you guys good morning mommy Good morning, Hi. Mommy. I love you. Guys, she is angel. She really is. Me and Mama are like obsessed with her, you guys. You guys watched my what I packed in my hospital bag video. I like packed makeup and like outfits. <laughs> Girl, I'm lucky to brush my teeth, like honestly, with this pain. What's good, guys? So I just got here and I saw my surprise. My baby boy was in the room which is so exciting. I was already planning on coming in here and giving my baby girl some hugs and kisses and then going straight to the NICU to chill with our boy. But then he was in here, so that was great. It was such a sigh um, of relief and I'm happy. And they're also saying that we get to go home today, so that's even better. I don't know how happy Nas is about going home. She's pretty comfortable here and you know getting all the help and stuff like that, but obviously she's still gonna be getting help at home from See, all of us. That. Let me explain to them why. The reason I don't want to go home is because, first of all, like, I need this situation. Like, it's so nice for breastfeeding and stuff. But thinking about the stairs, and then I'm someone I can't sit down, especially in my own home. Like, if Just I sleep see, downstairs. Like, no, but the thing is, like, you know me, if I see a mess, like, I'm going to constantly, like, I need to do the laundry, I need to mop the floors, I need to do this. Like, I hate that about myself. No. You don't get it, though. Anyways. No. So, <laughs> I'll be surrounded with responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, you know, I want to help you with all that. Baby girl's crying. <coughs> she just needed her dad's touch. <coughs> oh, never mind. Should I cuddle them both together? Guys, 
I call her my bizuna, which in Arabic, in the Iraqi dialect, that means like looking, bizuna. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute? So what I wanted to show you is the hospital brought us a little celebration gift for birthing two twins, or I guess for Nas birthing two twins. I didn't really have anything to do with it. Wait, not two twins. This twins is already plural. One set of twins. For the twins, babe. <laughs> the twins. Uh, so here we have... No, because when she brought it in, this is all I saw. And if anybody drinks like Miller High Life, you know that this is pretty much exactly what the bottle looks like. So I was like, wow, I did not expect to be bringing. But obviously I knew that that wouldn't be the truth. But anyways, so they brought us some Martinelli sparkling apple juice. This is actually happens to be Nas's favorite apple juice like brand. So that's nice. And then they brought us some cheesecake and some little champagne plastic glasses for us to celebrate with so I'm about to get my celebration on because I don't want that juice to get cold mm -hmm. it looks like he's posing for like a newborn photo shoot look at him mm -hmm. he's so handsome guys mm -hmm. all he does is sleep 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 and he guys he has the most hair out of all the babies tell me you're half middle eastern without telling me you're half middle eastern <laughs> Good, you guys so quick little update we ordered some chick-fil-a because we were starving um it was spot. it was delicious yes hit the spot uh Nas ob finally came and we got the okay to go home today so we will be leaving here in a couple hours we obviously just want to pack up clean up the room a little bit Nas wants to like get herself together and we're so excited to go home and have kk meet them because obviously with covid rules and things still going on within hospitals and other health buildings and stuff like that. Uh, Vaughn could not come visit, unfortunately. Whenever I say unfortunately, you know what I think of. Oh my gosh, y'all. He loves that book, Fortunate. Is it if, called Fortunate? Yeah, if you guys ever heard or look up the children's book, Fortunately, it's Kayvon's favorite uh, nighttime bedtime story. And he makes us read it. It's not even a nighttime bedtime story. It's just a book that he loves to read before bed. And he makes us read it specifically every day. What does he say, babe? Babe. The way he says the word, so he says fortunately now because it's like in the book. And I'd be like, fortunately. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh my God. Literally, <laughs> it's the cutest thing. So every time I say those words, I think about it. But anyways, yeah, we're going to go home. We got Vaughn this bike from Amazon. I ordered it a couple days ago. So that's going to be like his gift from the baby. So if he's feeling like we're giving them too much attention, he can go outside and ride his bike that his brothers and sisters got for him. So. Babe. So Baba was on duty to put it together and we told him we want, like I told my mom, uh, put a bow like on top of it. So Baba sends me a picture of his wrapping. We're going to put it on the screen so you guys can see how Baba wrapped, this, wrapped bike. this bike like a burrito with Christmas wrapping, but you'll see it on the screen. Uh, we called and media was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I called that... my mom. I was like, because my mom didn't see either. I was like, mom, did you see what Baba just sent me? She's like, no. And I sent it to her. She's like, oh my God, that yeah. is awful. We we're like not happening, so we're gonna get that changed. I think they're just gonna put a white bow on it. But we Nas read somewhere that like that's like a positive thing to do if you have other kids is to have a gift coming from them, especially at the age where Kayvon's at. He like he can't be like they couldn't buy this. Like you know you won't understand. So but with all that being said, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. We're gonna have our friends Oleg and Brittany. You guys have probably seen them in a video or two. They're gonna be coming along. Or they're going to be at our house once we get home to take pictures and to get Kayvon's reaction. So that's going to be its own separate video that you guys will also be seeing. So, um, yeah, that's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Yeah, guys, that's the end of today's video. I know emotions were all over the place in this video. I did vent to them, babe, a few mm -hmm. times. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to feed our little boy, and we will see you again for our next video.